bless this baby. That's a fool now. That's a fool now. Yo. All these damn chains, modern slave. If you woke up this morning, peace world. This is your boy, Bless the Party Sparker, here to talk to you about the computer store in Conyers, Georgia, the number one authorized Apple service provider and dealer east of Atlanta. With over a decade of repair and service on Apple as well as PC, the computer store has the remedy for your sick machine. Whether you need help with virus removal, upgrades, or warranty services, the computer store does it all. Believe me, they are a godsend, and I have a computer-based business. So remember, this is your boy Bless the Party Sparker telling you to join the world of Across the Theater, but to do that, you have to get your computer right. And to get your computer right, you have to go to the computer store. Located 875 Flat Shoals Road Southeast, Suite 190 Conyers, Georgia, 30094. To contact them, call them at 770-679-1859. And tell them Across the Theater sent you. You are now entering another dimension, a dimension of sight and sound, a dimension of hot beats and dope lyrics, a dimension where fat laces and kangos meet skinny jeans and swag. You are now entering the hip hop zone. on radio this is your man bless the party sparker what's heard it's your boy jay the pro what's good man you know what it is man shout out to everybody checking us out you know what it is it's monday that means it is no man monday no ma'am no man monday one of my favorite days of the week you know what i'm saying and and this ain't this ain't just your normal norm no man no, you know what i'm saying this ain't got just a special normal guest normal. Normally, you know what I'm saying, what we do, No Ma'am is the national organization, organization of, men of men against, against Amazon master. You feel me? So it's a safe place for men to be men and be able to speak about man shit. You know what I'm saying? And we like to say we, we, we put women in a place and let them know how it is we feel. Jovially. Without being apologetic. Today's a little different, though. Because uh, we got a sister on here that I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't going front. I was sending the messages out. I was a little intimidated. Shout out to my man, Mitch, out there, LA. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, uh, be careful. Be careful, uh, you know what I'm saying? It, what you ask for, because you're going to ask her to come on and she going to give it to you. She going to change it from No Man Monday to, uh, I forgot what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was something kind of degrading to us. So, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to introduce our special guest today. You know what I'm saying? Cookie Hull, the fabulous comedian. You know what I'm saying? Done a lot of work. Been all over. You know what I'm saying? Work with Cat Williams. Can we say that? Can we say that? Writing. Can we say you wrote for Cat? I know you're a ghostwriter, but can we say that? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, all right. yes. So... Cookie, what's good with you? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for having me on your show, first of all. I really appreciate it. No doubt. We no we problem. blessed to have y'all. You know, I have you, you know what I'm saying, on the show with us. You know what I'm saying? We 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 do a lot. And you know, it, you know, a lot of people don't have a stomach to get on. A lot of a lot of women, uh, I'll call it the uh, estrogen enhanced don't really okay. have the stomach to get on with us. You know what I'm saying? They be okay. a little shook. You know what I'm saying? But it's all in love. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We that. love our sisters. You know I get that. Y'all get a little out of hand sometimes, but we love y'all. <laughs> you know well, hold saying? on. I gotta I gotta Come ask on. Cookie something. I gotta ask Cookie something. Cookie says something very, very intriguing. You said something about women need to be selling. They need to be selling that <laughs> that pussy. I mean, I'm just saying, ain't no use to giving it away if you're broke. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Monetize it. 
monetize it. I'm just saying, if 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 you broke and and you fucking uh something wrong with that picture, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just you know what I'm saying? I don't I, I don't I don't I don't I don't even get sexually aroused when I ain't got no money. <laughs> Damn, that's facts. That's Just facts. put it down like that for you. You know what I'm Can saying? Can that go both yeah. ways? Huh? Can that go both ways? Yeah, it could go both ways. Yeah, it could go both ways. Why not? There I mean, you go. I mean, men shouldn't be fucking if they broke neither. I mean, keep your broke <laughs> don't be doing that to no disrespecting no woman by offering her broke dick. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. She flipped that real good, didn't she? Didn't she? <laughs> didn't she? <laughs> so real quick, before we go into the topic, you know what I'm saying? Cookie, you do a lot of stuff. Why don't you tell them a little bit about your background, what it is, you know what I'm saying, what you've been up to, what you got going on, and what's coming up? I am. What well, um, as you know, I'm Cookie Hall, one of the funniest to ever tell a joke. Um, I used to be a, on the Cat Williams writing team. I was on the Pimpin' Pimpin' tour with Cat Williams, 107 city tour, 145 shows. Mm. Sold out in six months. Um, uh, uh, North, one of the uh, highest growth, grossing North American tours ever. Uh, to gross like $42 million or something like that. Um, I used to be a, a writer for uh, Thick Thought Ass Lonnie Love on the real. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the first season and a half I wrote for her. And then after that, uh, you know, I didn't write for it no more, I guess. She got tired of being funny through me. Um, mm. So um, the Snoop Dogg Bad Girls of Comedy um, with Tiffany Haddish, Lunell, mm. April Macy, and Monique Marvez. Um, I got a movie out called Taco Shop. I'm in the movie Internet Date with Cat Webbs. I'm in the movie Workout Room with Joe Torrey. I'm in the ro- movie Hustle Beach with uh, Mitch McDowell. I just wrote my own movie, um, Crazy Shout out Hustle. to Mitch real quick. Yeah, I wrote my own movie, uh, Crazy Hustle. Um, I do music. I was one of the first people to start comedy rap songs to original music. Uh, um, and I started Cat doing that. That's how he um, eventually got to deal with Dipset. Um, because sure. I, okay. opened up a, I opened up a door, a genre of rap comedy that now everybody seems to be doing. Um, and I got music on Spotify, Pandora. Um, I got my own um, app called BLK Prime. It's like a Netflix app. You can go and you can download the app and uh, download comedy, movies, live TV, all kind of stuff. So well, damn, I think it's you doing everything. a lot of weed and it costs. <laughs> Girl, yeah, that shit calls. You gotta find way to. We gotta find ways to support our damn habit. I feel you on that. <laughs> exactly. Man, I also what? have a. I also have a clothing line. This is my clothing line called Footman and Sneakers. Say and that again. I, What's the name of it? It's called Put in the Ass Gear. Mm. Put in the Ass Gear. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, I design individual pieces for people. Um. Yeah, just stay busy. Try to leave my legacy, you know? Mm, mm, mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I loved it. I love that entrepreneurial spirit, you know what I'm saying, and everything that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're definitely hilarious, you know? And that's one thing I got to say, you know, as far as, like, stand-up, stand-up has got to be the hardest thing, the hardest thing to do. You know what I'm saying? As far as performance-wise, because everything else, you have accompaniment. You know, even if it's music, you have, you know, if you're singing, rhyming, you got music to back you up. When you doing stand-up, it's just you, and it's quiet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially well, if, if you ain't funny, you it's, ain't it's quiet. quiet um, you're not doing stand-up. <laughs> 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 you're doing a prayer or something, and it's you, and it's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you real quick, real quick. You you write and you do stand up. Now this is something I always wanted to find out. Like, uh, what is it? Which one do you prefer and why? As far as writing for other artists or actually doing the stand up itself? 
Um, I prefer to stand up um, because I like making people happy. It's, it's what I like to do. Um, I'm really good at it. So I prefer stand up. And I, I write. I mean, I like writing too, but I don't really like sit down and write jokes for myself. That's what I don't do. I kind of just, uh, after 23 years, I just kind of get up there and fill out the room and decide what I'm going to talk about. At this point, I'm a, just a comedy motivational speaker because there's some shit people need to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. You know, what's and up? I- what's up, bro? Pete, bro, Pete ain't saying one word. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Mute. Oh, mute. Take yourself off a mute, bro, Pete. He put himself on mute after that response. Oh, yeah, I'm doing fine, sister. I'm, I'm, right, I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm absorbing. I'm listening. You know what I mean? I'm one of those fellas that like to listen. You know what? That's a smart man. Smart men listen to women despite your title of your show. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Starting right. already. I'm gonna let, right. let you know we being cool right now just because I wanted to do the introduction. I want to smoke, bro. She wanted to smoke. She wanted to smoke. Let's start out with the laws. Let's start out with our laws. All right. Number one, no, no. y'all got don't do it yet. All right, no, I'm gonna be quiet. No, no, no. We're quiet. gonna we're gonna check it out. So this is what we're gonna do. Like she said, you know what I'm saying? Cookie is actually um one of the forerunners of comedic <laughs> hip hop and comedic rapping. So I actually got a track, you know what I mean? We actually gonna have to run this for her, you know what I'm saying? And um, we going, we, we definitely, you know, once we do that, this is gonna be our break. But right after that song, we gonna come back in with the topic. The topic for today is why do women always think that you know, they talk bad about other women and they think you're talking about other women when really it's, it's y'all all do the same thing. So y'all talking about somebody else, but uh, you do the exact same thing. So today's topic is, is that you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> is that you, bitch? Oh, okay. hmm. Bitch, is that you? Just to think about it. So real quick, you know what I mean? I got a track here. Let me see real quick. Checking the facts. Cookie Hull, I'm going to let you uh, introduce it. Oh, thank you. Um, This song coming up is my song called Checking the Facts. And it's the song that I pull facts from the internet. And it's kind of low-key a diss song to some people. So you got to watch, listen to it real close. Yeah, it's a it's a I don't give two fuck song. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be a, a great show. I can feel it already. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, this is Cookie Hull checking the facts right here on Hip Hop Zone Radio. No Man Monday, Power Three Three Five Seven, moving your music around the globe and across the fader. Y'all know what it is. We'll be right back, y'all. Keep it locked. All the stuff that's going around in America with the pandemic and all the stuff that Trump is talking about, I have a question. Is it hair real? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a bird's nest. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Um, Next question. Um, Lil G. Thank you. Okay. How do you feel about the 699 snitching situation and Charlemagne the God as being the donkey of the day? Um, I think they're both asses. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Indubitably. Thank you. All right. Thank you for your question. Uh, next question. Next question. Mr. Warren Durso, you have the floor. Uh, Cookie, is it true what Steve Harvey said about Monique? Uh, he pretty much said that um, he don't have any morals and integrity because that shit doesn't feed him. God, she got a big pussy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right. Next question. Next question. Next question. 
Ms. Roz Washington. Yes, Cookie, is it true that Lonnie Love got Tamar fired? Yes, she did. She did. She had a hand in that. She did. That's what I thought. Thank you. Um, Ms. Tiba Parks, please. Does Lonnie Love really write her own jokes or do you write them? I'm pretty sure used to write I used to write a lot of her jokes. Um, and I'm pretty sure um, nobody's writing them right now because I've been watching. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. E for the war. Yes, Cookie, I have a quick question. Uh, so is this something spitting about your uh, journey uh, in entertainment with these entertainers right here in this song? Oh, no, no. I've just seen this stuff on the internet, and I just thought it would be really nice to put it in a really nice song. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Um, next question. Next question. Next question. Uh, Miss Beck. Who is Lani now? Um, I'm pretty sure if you had to ask that question, nobody. Um, <laughs> next question. Next question. Mr. Wood, Dr. And Roscoe. And you need to tell me that I can find all of these facts on the internet. All of it, including porn. Yeah, let me see your phone. You ready for that smoke? Let's smoke after this right. session. Thank you, Mr. Woodcock. Thank you. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Next question. Uh, Mr. Boo Capone. Cookie, I got a question. Is it true you've always been taller than Cat Williams? As far as I know, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Next question. Next question. All right, we're all out of questions. All right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts now. I'm going in for the win. I'm checking the facts. Hey, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts now. I'm going in for the win. Let me talk this trap comedy shit. Rest in peace, Yvette Ronaldo, Ricky Harris, Bernie Mac, who you with? R. Kelly out here with all kind of cases. Interview with Gail, he made all kind of faces. Jesse out here singing Jesse. and telling lies. Both of y'all looking like when doves cry. DL and Terry Crews got beef, cause Terry crying about who grabbed his meat. I still can't believe y'all fucking with Monique. Don't be mad when the two fuck fold. What the hell happened to the foxhole? Illuminati sending out mess a threat with a flex. Jay-Z and Cat, how y'all getting these messes in a text? Fuck your threat, I clap back. Shout out, hashtag 50 cent, hashtag get the strap. I'll end up tatted up, middle finger up, and locked up like 6 9 I'm a pit bull, Michael Pick, I do my time. Como es nice to all the Migos. This shit is crazy, you clowns don't pay me. Keep my strap, Migos. I want the bag, bitches like Cardi B, so I can pay my mama bills and buy some motherfucking teeth. I'm checking the facts, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts, now I'm going in for the win. I'm checking the facts, hey, I'm going in. Don't make me dig up shit to talk about like Oprah doing Michael Jackson, cause the shit I say, I promise y'all, it'll get a reaction. Don't let me get to Charlotte, Maine, cause the shit I say, it change the motherfucking game. I know he like his teeth stirred with a little drama, and I'm not scared to say what the fuck I know on my mama. Blue pill of the red, that's what Bill Cosby said. Hey, 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 bitch, the Matrix is in my bed. Like men in black, Bill, the flash you up, you won't remember a thing. Bill out here slinging dick like Tristan Thompson. Y'all know what I mean. Whatever happened to morals and integrity? Oh, yeah, Steve Harvey told Monique, that shit don't feed me. I'd rather play my role, get my money, and stay in position. And the Emmy goes to Lonnie Love for the Tamar and exit transition. I never come to a fight with no ammunition. I was on the stir fry up in the kitchen. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts now. I'm going in for the win. I'm checking the facts. Hey, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. Hey, I'm going in. I'm checking the facts. I'm going in. I'm checking the facts now. I'm going in for the win. Check the facts, keep it real with no games. I've been solid since an infant, homie, Google the name. These niggas is lame, running they bullshit for the fame. You gullible motherfuckers jump on the popular train. Don't matter as long as it sounds good to the eardrum. You just go with it, no research, you're real dumb. I don't follow trends, I set trends, don't believe me, go check then. 3D and Cookie 100 is what we in. Gossip for bitches, but what really makes it worse? Niggas eat that shit up and don't check first. It's a pandemic, long before COVID, they shit and stand in it. Everything about this generation is all gimmicks It irritates the fuck out of me I sit back, shake my head so disgustingly Get your facts together Or see the other side of me Listen with your eyes, better yet stop discussing me Go. I'm taking the facts I'm going in I'm taking the facts I'm going in I'm taking the facts I'm going in I'm taking the facts now I'm going in for the win I'm taking the facts, hey, I'm going in I'm taking the facts, hey, I'm going in I'm taking the facts I'm going in, I'm taking the facts now, I'm going in for the win. Hey, 
hey, hey, don't be mad at me. I got this shit off the internet. And the funny part about it is y'all posted it so it's public property. <laughs> Middle finger, bitches. Star makers global. Hip Hop Zone Radio, this is your man, Bless the Party Sparker, what's hood? It's your boy, Jay the Pro, what's good? Man, that was just checking the facts with Cookie Hull, oh my goodness, yo. Hey, real quick, Hull Hull, Cookie, you gotta come off of mute, my bad, I had to put it on so everybody can hear the music. Oh, I'm off now, right? Yeah, you off, you good. No, 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 I was talking to them. (laughs) I'm doing a million things, my bad. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. Yo, that was that was wild, yo. That was wild. You was taking shots at a lot of cats in that joint. Hey, hey shots, because it's on the internet. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. It's on the internet. You can't they can't nothing. get mad at you about it. They what they going to say? It. Y'all posted it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, real quick, big shout out to uh, 3D. Mad 3, I think it is, on the, uh, yeah. on the joint. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was on there with you. Yeah. So, so what made you want to do that joint? Um, I don't know. Just my producer was like, you know, I had did this other song called Ball Till I Fall. And it's kind of like a diss song, too. But he was like, you need to go a little harder. Mm. So I was like, all right, I'll just go harder because I don't really care. You know, it ain't like ain't like they can do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like they can do nothing about it. They know who I am. Like, all of them know who I am. So, and they know what I'm about. So, ain't nothing they can do about it. That's why you don't never hear them talking about me. That's why mm. people, I'm like, I'm like the funniest motherfucker niggas don't talk about. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like the Bernie Mac. That's why I said it in song. No doubt. Rest in peace to Bernie Mac. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Like I said, that was the uh, checking the facts with Cookie Ho. Big shout out. You know what I'm saying? Get on the Zoom if you want. You know what I'm saying? If you got a chance. Yo, right now, big shout out to everybody checking us out right now. And it looks like 87 countries. We are. We got about 187,000 people on right now. 187 and 40. <laughs> wow. And 40. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them 40. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's an odd ass number. <laughs> so, so cook, so Cookie, uh, Lonnie pretty much pulled a. That's that bitch with uh Tamar, huh? Yeah, and um, she got she got her her big ass draws in a bunch when I told the truth about it. Okay, and she uh she, she but she ain't gonna do nothing to me. They know me. She can't do nothing because if I wasn't telling the truth, she would have tried to sue me by now. Mm. Right, that's true. That's true. Yeah, but that's a perfect segue. She can't do nothing about it. She can't do nothing about it. She just got it. Uh, what they say, eat crow or dick or whatever she eat to get that thing. <laughs> What'd you say, thick say throat? Eat. She called a thick throat. She called a thick throat, Lonnie. I heard that. I heard it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> thick she throat. What she going? She can't outrun me. Yo, oh my God, yo, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for the playback. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put this up. But, you know what I'm saying? For everybody checking us out live right now. Hey, so, you know, that's a perfect segue to, uh, you know, is that you, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Everything you was just talking about and, you know, with Lonnie and, you know, a lot A lot of women say, you know, they, they talk shit about other women. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then they hear men say, oh, I hate when women do this. And they, they say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That shit too. You know what I'm saying? And then turn around and do the exact same right. shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And every right. woman is like, yo, it ain't me. Right. Well, fuck it, it's you. You know what I'm right. saying? And one of the purposes of this show is for, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing women to see themselves for, for how they are. And we get a chance to speak. Peace. What's good, brother? What's good, bro? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we love his opinion, too. I don't know who that is, but, you know. 
Yeah, his opinion ain't gonna be no different than y'all's. Uh, irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. Oh. <Yeah. laughs> so I, I would like to hear what you got to say about that. Okay. Cookie and say hello. Uh, wait, cookie, you, go you, ahead. You cookie. like to hear what I got to say about women talking about women? Yes, Cookie. Well, people talk about people to empower themselves to give themselves, make themselves look better. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, all of these women have so many insecurities that have been put upon them and they have been tricked into to be against each other. I mean, who else they gonna be against? It's only men and women. So, you know what I'm saying? Who else they gonna be against? You know what I mean? So, um, hmm. and people talk about people and belittle people. Men talk about each other too, you know what I'm saying. So this ain't about men today, day, though, Cookie. What? I said this ain't about men today, though, Cookie. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I, um, I'm talking about I'm talking to three, four men. So um, and, and, and I, and I just just y'all had just for the do record, it. we don't do that. We don't do but, that. We don't do that. We don't do okay. that. <laughs> okay. Well, you know. not today. Not today. Maybe yesterday, but not today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a time machine. Let's go back to yesterday so I can make my fucking point. Um, <laughs> I love it. I love it. If you got a time machine, you need to go back a little further so we can get some smoke for the Lolo. That's what you need to do. All right. <laughs> right. Yo. So um, it's just, you know, the programming. We, we program to abuse each other. You know what I'm saying? And and, and 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 that's where they get it from. You know what I'm saying? They get it from their mothers sometimes because, you you know, mothers will be on the phone talking about a girl or their best friend or a neighbor or something. And as a child, you're going to listen and you gain that type of spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. See, and that's another point. That's another great point. You know what I'm saying? A lot of this stuff is passed on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women think it's okay. Like, cause yo, mama did it. You know what I'm saying? We all do it. No, we don't all do it. You know what I'm saying? It was saying like, a lot, you know what I'm saying? Brothers, most brothers is like, yo, if I don't fuck with you, dog, I don't fuck with you. You know what right. I'm saying? Eh, I, 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 well, I don't it's women like that. that too. Cause I'm like that. If I don't mess with you, I don't mess with you. It's as simple as that. I ain't, I ain't got no fakeness on me. I'd have to create that and pour it on me because I ain't got none. <laughs> Man, you wearing gear called foot in the ass. I know you ain't fake. You See, know what I'm saying? And that's that's real. <laughs> Cause I was gonna say, you know what? If if, if you was anybody else, right? Uh -huh. I'd be like, you know what? The whole topic of the show is, is that you, bitch? <laughs> Cause they everybody say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I I can't say you that same check. Right. right. You know what I mean? So, but for those that are, because, you know, I, I, you got to know, you know what I'm saying? Every woman say, oh, well, yeah, I hate, you know, and, and that ain't me, so I can't really speak for them and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah, that is you, bitch. That is you. That is you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. That is you. No, okay. Right. All right. It's, and then, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fly out here violating my phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's landing on my phone probably was on some shit earlier get off my phone <laughs> carrying the delta virus you fuck face um, yeah so but yeah women just I mean like I said a lot of women and it's sad to say they, they have low self esteem they talk about other women to a to to uh, empower their shortcomings. But um, at the end of the day, bitches, you too, like you said. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Birds of a feather flock together. Mm. Mm. And that's the big thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, we just want to figure out how we can get this shit across. Because, you know, you can't tell your lady, uh, you know, you do that same shit. You can't tell your lady what? <laughs> Oh, you, you, do can't that tell same shit. you do that same shit. Yes, you can. He can't. Yes, he can. can't. You, nah, you can. I can't. Okay, was well, then then um <laughs> then she has why you put it on me like that? Then she has your balls in the jar. Why you put it on me like that? 
you should be able to say whatever the hell you want to say as a grown ass man, whether she like it or not. Now, if you ain't going to like me no more because I told you the truth, bitch, beat it so I can get a bitch over here that like the truth. Mm. <laughs> I like her already. Uh huh. We know, bro, bro, Pete, you ain't said nothing all show. Uh-huh. Bro, <laughs> feeling like, yo, yo. I mean, because bro, everybody... Bro, Pete would have been like, I got a question. Everybody yep. don't like the truth. Everybody don't like the truth. You see what I'm saying? The truth is the furthest thing from everybody's fucking mouth. You mm. know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, because they've been programmed to lie about everything. I mean, as a little kid... Come on, now the phone ring, and you be like, Ma, it's for you. Is it, is it, oh, tell him I ain't here. That's a lie. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? And as a kid, you didn't, you didn't lie, learn how to lie without even knowing that you know how to lie. Damn. You know? That's real. And you oh, know, the like, other one. You know, the like, other one here. If we don't feel like going to work today, instead of calling the job and say, hey, check this out. Um, I don't feel like coming to that motherfucker today. <laughs> You know, the, a lot we all did. We have come up with an excuse. Oh, the dog died. I got to go to a funeral. Uh, you know, we have come up with an excuse. <laughs> not me. Not me. Um, look, I can't come today. There's some shit called PMS that have helped that will make me murder everybody in here, allegedly. Okay, so I can't allegedly. come today. Right. You know, so people scared to tell the truth. That's just like when we was little, your mom tell you, don't, don't you talk outside my house. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the first hey. thing you learn as a little kid. Don't you talk about what's going on in this house. Well, you, as a little kid, you shouldn't because people take, okay, what people don't know they can't speak on. Mm. You ever meet, okay, just hi, hi, hypothetically, you ever meet a new chick and then your homeboys, the first thing they want to know is how she look, what she look like, what she drive, what she live. And if you never told them that, they would be speculating the whole time of how it is. But as soon as you introduce them, they be like, oh, I like her shoes. She got big titties. Da, 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 da. They have an opinion. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you have to keep people out your business because people will take your business and turn it into their business and twist it all up. Mm. Honestly, that sounds like a woman thing, though, because dudes don't do all that shit. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what's up with your girl? What's she look like? What's up with her? Blah, blah, blah. Yes, nah, y'all nigga. do. She nah, got a nigga. fat ass. What does she look like? Yes, y'all do. Y'all act nah, like Now, nah, we a little different. I'm going to tell you why we're different. different. Cookie, I'm going to tell you why we different. This is what wait, we do. Especially before she comes your girl. Now, before she become your girl, when she become your woman, that's another thing because it's kind of disrespectful to say, do she got a fat ass or whatever. But when you first meet her, they want to know. Describe her, what she do. There, where you meet at, which dry, you know what I'm saying? Was a house that's real, that's real. On the front of the toilet, but we, you know. we volunteer that shit more, like most like, yeah, that more than likely that shit is volunteer, yeah. yeah like, hey. yo, 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 son, yo, guess, guess which one? Hey, I just pulled this bad bitch. Let me show you what she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go yeah. into it all. You know what but I mean? look, the funny part about me is y'all a brag about them, but you won't brag about the monsters y'all pick up. Fuck no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Like nah. I'm in Frankenstein at, at the club. So, so, <laughs> but, but check it out. But check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Men won't brag about them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit is to be hidden. Women, on the other hand, will forget that shit existed. Oh, oh. it depends. It depends. Now, if you're a big, ugly, <laughs> ugly grizzly bear with money. Women to brag about it. Like, girl, he ugly as hell, but he got up in Italy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how they do it. They're, 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 they're lower their self-esteem again just hey. because they've been programmed to uh, go towards material facts. You know when, we tell, when we tell our homeboys about the ugly chicks, it's more of a confession. good <laughs> coochie. <laughs> <laughs> You be like, hey, bro, I, yeah. you know, I, I ain't tell you, you know, about two months ago. Yeah, I met this. Yeah, she went, mm-mm. But, yeah, oh, I man. know. No, I was drunk. No, I was drunk no, as shit, no, dude. Dude. She she like, I was drunk as hell. She we don't like telling them. Everybody. Y'all start saying stuff like that. She sucked the color off my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, making excuses for it. She yeah. ugly, but she got a fat ass. <laughs> she looks right. like she 
was like two Godzillas, nigga, boy. That put you in the mud. Yo. That's crazy because that's that's that that is the truth. That is the truth. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, you hey know, yo, this is my friend Dez that's right here. Come on, Dez. This is my homeboy Dez. He an artist. He got some off the chain ass music. So you might want to give me an interview and play his music on your uh on your definitely. Show. Hey Cookie, y'all need, need to get us his music. Uh I'm sorry. Um where I'm he at? I don't be doing shit like that. He got to hey, get y'all. Hey, she, she, got, <laughs> she, <got it. laughs> she the most managing, I'm managing yeah. ass. I'm talking about Maria. She got me. Now I'm managing, managing. I, I open up the door, nigga. You better run through it. <laughs> so yeah. the rest up in the day. Exactly. I'm that bitch. I open open up the floodgates. And there, you better run through it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's why That's Hollywood try to keep me contained because they know I'm a nigga that'll open up the floodgates for anything that got black in their DNA. That's what's up. You know, and we definitely down. So definitely, you know what I'm saying? You got my email address. Just tell them to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Get me that music. But that's a that's a huge point right there. You know what I mean? As far as, you know, the things you've done and, you know what I'm saying, the amount of, you know, what you've been doing in the industry. You know what I mean? As far as being a black woman and and you know in what you do, you know what do you think have been the hardest the hardest parts of that? As far as pushing yourself and, and, and getting getting the exposure you 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 deserve, um, is being a black woman. That's the hardest part about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, they don't want to see certain people shine, and they don't, and that and so. So you got people like um, like Cat Williams and Lonnie Love who have told me and watched them read stuff like the 48 Laws of Power, okay? And mm -hmm. if they're reading the 48 Laws of Power and they're implementing that stuff amongst their own people, um, that's kind of demonic. You see what I'm saying? Because um, I'm one of those people that... Um, I look at everything as it was wrote by the white man. So therefore, um, I, I have to question it. I have to question it. You see what I'm saying? Every yeah. story in the 48 Laws of Power, um, people have to die for people to be in power. And it's relevant now. People had to die when people died when um, Donald Trump got into power. Okay. So um, that's the way this world works. You know what I'm saying? You got rappers that career don't even get to take off before they're murdered. Mm. You know, yeah. So, you know, so, you know, and that's I how question they get... a lot of stuff. But I'm pro-black. Everything, pro-black. I'm pro-black everything. Um, oh, when I'm on the stage, people. I'm telling y'all to buy black and buy it consistently like you do Gucci and Louie and all those dead people that don't know you. Mm. You know, I got Gucci and Louie too, but I got Leroy and Tyrone shit too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's real. Shout out to Todd and Ava, no doubt. <laughs> right. And, and so getting back to the fact that um, y'all um, are trying to help women uh, with their bullshit. We are. we are. Um, I think that y'all not gonna be successful. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, if we could just tell we you appreciate to have, the love. Hey, look, Cookie, if we could just tell you to have, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure all y'all got a woman that you uh been for. And all y'all came out of woman. Uh, you should have heard this nigga last week all uh, stuttering and mumbling and shit. Fuck he got that, his chest man, out. I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> he got his chest out today. Y'all got to understand. Okay, you married. You're married. You're married. This is certain right. shit. This is you're certain married. shit. <laughs> and no, <laughs> nobody forced you. He hey, married thumb, too. Thumbs up, bro. He I'm married with too. <laughs> but nobody was there with some handcuffs telling you to uh, sign that paperwork. Not at all. You decided that. Yes, they were. You decided that her good outweighed her bad, and that's 
you you decided that's the, what the person you wanted to be with. That's so a heavy I, ass scale. Understand, I have a thirty one year old son. You said what was 30, that? I said I have a 31, 31 year old son. Okay. He has a master's degree. He's been married a year. He's a financial investor. Mm. He he um he he gambles on the stock market because I showed him that the stock market ain't no different from selling weed. So right. you know, um, he a good dude, and I and I taught him how to be a good person. I ain't t- teach him how to be a man. He got to learn that shit on his own. All right. But I taught him how to be a good person. Now let me ask you: Do you see? What do you think of the stock of one of women out there for your son right now? Say that again. What do you think of the stock of women that are out there? For your son right now. You know what I'm my saying? Son, my son already picked his wife. He's oh, okay. married. He's married. He's been married a year. He paid for the whole wedding himself. He set up everything himself. He did everything himself. He didn't want no help. And I was happy because it didn't cut into my weed money. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, I, you know, um, I, I taught, like I said, I taught him how to be a good person. He I like the way you person. said that. You got to like be that. a good person. They always tell women, oh, you can't teach a man how to be a man. Well, I have this nigga. But you can teach him how to be a good person. I can teach him how to be a good person. I can't teach him how to be a man. He got to go out there and eat some nasty pussy by, on his own. You know, he got to get, uh, find a chick that uh, take him to a motel and rob him. He got to learn that shit on his own. <laughs> and and it's, it's important that you said that because most women say, I'm raising a man. You no, are raising raise a man. man. You are raising a man, but you're not teaching him how to be a man. Right. Yeah, you can say something about that. Hey, I, I'm gonna say this: a woman can't raise a man because she a woman. She a woman. Right. Right. Yeah, you know that's, that's the how realest I, thing. Yeah, you know they can't they can't raise him like a man can. You know the man thing. Yeah, but at the end of the day, if we didn't have your ass, you would be out with be a man. No doubt. That's why. We wouldn't have this problem. This 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 discussion even wouldn't be going on. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Lizada, you got something to say? Um, first of all, good evening, everybody. And to Miss Cookie, Miss Cookie, pleasure having you on the show. I love your commentary and I love your sincerity thus far. I, I love it. Um, and uh, just on the topic, I definitely concur. I 100% um, agree with Miss Cookie. I'm I am enjoying myself right now. That's mm. not you though, Lazadi, right? Mm. Is is that me, then? I ain't say that. I I said, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Say it with your chest, son. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, I like I said, I, I I definitely agree to uh what's been said and what's going on. I'm I'm just feeling the moment and feeling the vibe when this cookie right now. I'm loving it. That's real and beautiful. Think, and that's a great point. And, 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 as, and as far as uh you know, raising a, a man, you know, I do hear a lot of females say that because I myself I have a a 19 year old and I have a four year old. So, I mean, you can nurture them. You could, you know, guide them accordingly, but I totally agree with, you know, they, they need that male presence, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm totally with it. I've raised one, he's gone doing well, and I have one on the way coming up doing phenomenally well just as much. So just with everything going on, I, I totally agree and I'm loving it so far. Well, I don't agree with it. They need the male presence <laughs> shit. I don't agree oh. with it. Because um, when I got pregnant, my um, son's father, which I don't refer to him as baby daddy or none of that shit, my son's Agreed. father told me to get an abortion, okay? And I told him, oh. okay, nigga, you are now aborted, okay? Damn. And I think, and I thank him. I, I've never talked bad about him to my son. I've never said anything bad. I thank my son's father for not being around because... My son could have turned out like you, nigga, not wanting his kids and stuff like that. Oh, so, yeah. you know, I I disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? So, because so let, me, let me ask you this, Miss Cookie, and, and not to cut you off, but respectfully, 
So in my situation, my um, oldest son, his father served us. He was in the service for nine years. <clears throat> and my son, Duke, he didn't necessarily have his father. But when it came to knowing certain things or knowing how pussy first feel or knowing what blue balls are or how to stand up and use the bathroom and what does that mean versus sitting down, would you agree that having a male presence around is okay? And and a lot of times it has to be okay. And a lot of times, a lot of times uh, these young men don't have it and they turn out just fine. They turn out phenomenally yeah. well. So because, you agree with um, that? because of y'all sensitiveness. You got a little boy, you tell him, look here. You aim that thing in the toilet. If you don't, your shoes going to be soggy all day. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't really care how his first piece of coochie feel. Um, I hope it's horrible for all the shit that he did to me when he was growing up. Um, that's things you got to learn for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Those are, those are things he got to learn for himself. I'm going to tell you about it. Look, um, if you get coochie when you're in high school, you don't know what the hell are going to be. That's what I told my son. He, she might want to be a career food stamp getter. So get you a woman in college. At least you know she's taking a step to become somebody. See, y'all keep uh -huh. sugarcoating shit. You know what I'm saying? Quit sugarcoating and just be straight and forward so you'll have a person out there, a person, not a child, because after a while they become just a person. So you'll have a person out there that can recognize bullshit. Right. Now, with my oldest son, he, I, 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 oh, I agree with you so much because he's able to identify society, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like you said, bull crap versus what's real. These little females, the good from the different, from the indifferent. So I, I agree with that. And as much as he had, you know, a lot of great, phenomenal men in my family <clears throat> as for leadership, um, he turned out great well to not have his biological father there. What did, <clears throat> let me ask this. Didn't you just say he had leadership though, right? Yeah. And Cookie, your son had leadership, male leadership, right? No, he had no, me. No, no, no male leadership throughout his life. I First took him out, see, the thing is, is that when he was five, I took him out of Detroit and moved to California. I ain't know nobody. Right, but it, I mean, but he didn't have like no, no type of coaches, no teachers. Yeah, yeah he did when I put him in football. But um, when I put him in football, I coached him more than his coach. <laughs> Thank you. And, and you know but you, mom, you're going to always feel like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. No, let me, let me, let me chime in here. I'm being let funny, me. but understand what I'm saying. When let he started football, I already had him on 300 push ups a day. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to learn how to get that energy out of, the, out of these young men. So my son had to do 300 push ups a day, he had to record it. And you had to tell me how long it took you to do it. Now, if that, then you're going to get 300 punches a day from my ass. So you see what <laughs> I'm saying? So it's, you know, like kids got everything you got and they ain't got no job. Understand that. Mm. So they feel like they on your level. Oh, I do understand it. I tell my 14 year old that shit all the goddamn time. Your kids got cell phone, flat screen, game time, uh, the Nikes you got. They got everything you got and no job. Well, let me ask a question here, okay? You say Let's that, uh, you say um, that, 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 let me see if I got this right. <laughs> you don't need a man in a child's life? Is that no, what I'm hearing? I said, I said it's not necessary if it happens that way. It's not necessary if it happens that way? Exactly. I, first thing I need to know is what's your definition of a man? Um, someone who takes care of his child is fine with me. You don't have to pay my bills. You don't have to do none of that because I'm going to get out and hustle for the whole family just like you. But you should be, if you create a, a, a being, if you create a being, step up and be a man and take care of it. Okay, but. Okay. Is it, is it you fair for me? you yourself to... a man, you understand? Oh, wait a minute. But, is it, but is it fair for me to put my son's mother in a category? and loop all women into that same category? No, it's not. It's not because- um, So don't we have to be careful of the messages that we give out because what yes. a man's not because a man's not suitable for you, he might, when you send that message out there, other women are gonna no, say- No, I said that man wasn't suitable for me. I, I keep saying it ain't all, all me. 
I was talking about one specific person. I'm not talking about all men. This dude right here, good dude, he take care of his family. I know the whole family. I know his kids. You see what I'm saying? So I don't feel that way. I feel that way about the ones who make the decision not to take care of a life that they brought into the universe. Those are the ones I'm talking about. Damn, bro, Pete, you supposed to hold it down for us. Well, you got us looking He's bad. Us you, down, man. We looking bad Pete. right now. We looking you bad. Broke looking Pete bad. Right no, no, no. Y'all not looking bad if you taking care of your kids. You no, ma'am. Like the man that you are. If you taking care of your wait, kids. Wait, 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 wait a minute, Cookie. Wait a minute, Cookie. Because I, I can't understand that logic either. I mean, how am I looking bad when I'm standing, when I'm sitting here saying, you know, I'm a man. You follow what I'm saying? I just as a man, and as a man, I'm going to deal with, wait a minute. I'm a man, and as a man, I'm going to deal with my responsibility. Okay? I said you guys aren't looking bad if you're taking care of your children and being responsible. I'm not trying to make a, a person that's responsible okay. I just mean, you know, I just wanted some clarification on yeah, what, was yeah. being, what was actually no, being said. No. I'm talking about the ones that aren't. I'm not okay. talking about the ones that do. We got It's a lot mm -hmm. of people on this earth. It's a lot of good people on this earth. Hold on, oh, time out. You gotta I need understand. a time out real quick. I need a time out. Hey, coach, we, this is this is No Man Monday. What the I'm hell saying, are we talking son. about? And you Thank know, you. bro, Pete, you gotta understand, bro, Pete. That's our that's our hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Our, our, our vet. You know what I'm saying? But he older, so he forgets sometimes, and he don't. You know, he don't be well, catching. Well, bro, Pete, um, I'm 59. <laughs> I ain't, I'm I'm 59. I ain't no I mean, spring ticket. I got an AARP card and can't wait to get my social security. And I'm always going with Brub Pete, so man. it's cool. That's my man, yo. Shout out to Brub Pete. You know who, you know what it is. Hey, we appreciate that. And real quick, um, we're about to play one more song, but I want to come back because I definitely would love to hear what you have to say about the laws for No <laughs> Man Monday. <laughs> you know what right, I mean? You got some... up. We got some laws. We got some laws, and I, I would love to hear what you got to say, Cookie. You know, what let's say? Have Cookie, some fun. All right, let's we have can't some even fun. argue with Cookie, yo, because Cookie's like she, she just like us. She, 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 she know the game. She really is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, that's our people. Damn it, this so, ain't supposed to happen. I'm hey, on your side. I'm on we your see, side. we see, and we don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't even know how to handle that. Okay, you I'm see, bro, Pete, you got bro, Pete, up here stuttering. Point of view, if y'all want me to. Instead Cookie. of my point of view. No, 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 no. Stay where you at. We like it. We like it. Hey, Cookie, we, you got bro Pete stuttering. That don't bro, happen Pete too is, often, Bro, Pete okay? is peaceful. Forget stuttering. Hey, we got Ty the stuttering. neighbor. Ty the neighbor over here pointing at you. He over here pointing. He ain't said shit yet. And we always get Ty to say oh something. Oh, my God. Yo. Ty's just been shaking his head. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know. He's just been shaking his head. Ty, uh, let me just say that a lot of stuff I was saying was because I'm a comedian. But a lot of shit I was saying because it's the truth. <laughs> I, I agree with a, I agree with a lot of stuff that you say, and I think you would agree with a lot of stuff that I say. But there's some things that I just don't agree with. I don't know. Oh, yeah. we have to come back with that. Uh oh, yeah. Ty, right. I've been you don't have to come back quiet, and hear with Todd and Todd and Abel. Todd, you don't have to be quiet on this show, bro. No, no, no I, I, I was listening because I want to make sure that I'm hearing exactly what I'm hearing. Yeah, so, okay. so and you that should I elaborate just don't, you know on it because I don't know everything. I just know the stuff that I know. She cleared up a whole lot of stuff, though. She said because you know I was just talking about that one, you know, because I was like she sounded like a woman scorned. No, no, no. Woman scorned doesn't no. feel like when my, man when, my, is necessary. when my son's father decided to come back into his life, I welcomed him. I never talked bad about him. I let him explain to his son why he wasn't yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, and I was listening yes, the whole time because yeah. when she was saying it, I was like, "We don't like them type of niggas either." Exactly. Yeah. No, we no, don't. no. I, I <laughs> know, we, that's true. We I'm don't. Not that, I'm not we that don't. baby mama that would have talked bad and said all these things. No, you explain to him why. I have a terrible think. baby mama, so I was listening to see if you had the same characteristics. You can come hang out with us. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, so I just had to listen, you know. So I was, you know, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Hey, real quick, we're gonna go into this real to this real quick break and uh my bad into this quick break and then uh we're gonna uh, go back, come back with the laws, no man Monday laws, and we're gonna see what we got to say. You know what I'm saying? We got Miss Cookie Hull, Miss Cookie Hull on the line with us right now. You know what it is, man. She man, bless the party, Sparker. 
It's your boy Jay the Pro. Y'all already know what it is. No Man Mondays. Power 357, moving your music around the globe. And across the fader. Y'all keep it locked. You having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rat patrol on the cat patrol. Foes that want to make sure my cast is closed. Rat critics saves money, cash holes. I'm from the hood, stupid, what type of facts are those? If you blew up a hose and you zap the toes, you celebrate the minute you was having dope. I'm like, fuck critics, you can kiss my whole asshole. If you don't like my lyrics, you can press fast forward. Got beef with radio, if I don't play they show, they don't play my hits. Well, I don't give a shit, so Rap Max try and use my black ass So advertisers can give them more cash for ads Fuckers, I don't know what you take me as Or understand the intelligence that Jay-Z has I'm from rags, the richest niggas, I ain't dumb I got 99 pounds, but a bitch ain't one Hit me 99 pounds for the bitch ain't one. If you have a girl problem, pop the tap for you, son. I got 99 pounds, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. Yeah, it's 94 and my trunk is raw. And my rear view mirror is the motherfucking law. I got two choices, y'all. Pull over the car or bounce on the devil, put the pedal to the floor. And I ain't trying to see no holly chase with Jake. Plus, I got a few dollars I can fight the case. So I pull over to the side of the road. I heard, son, do you know why I'm stopping you? Cause I'm young and I'm black and my hat's real low Do I look like a mind reader, sir? I don't know Am I under arrest or should I get some more? Well, you was doing 55 and the 54 uh -huh. Lost in the registration and step out of the car Are you carrying a weapon on you? I know a lot of you are I ain't stepping out of shit, all my papers legit Well, do you mind if I look around the car a little bit? Well, my glove department is locked, so it's trunk in the back And I know my rights, so you gon' need a warrant for that <laughs> Oh, and she'll show up to You some type of law or something, somebody you parking some I ain't passed the bar, but I know a little bit enough that you wanna legally search my shit. Well, we'll see how smart you are when the K9 comes. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. If you having girl problems, I for back with you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. If you have a girl problems, I forgot for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. Upon the time not too long ago, a nigga like myself had a strong arm a hoe. This is not a hoe in the sense of having a pussy, but a pussy having no goddamn sense to try and push me. I try to ignore him, talk to the Lord, pray for him, but some fools just love to perform. You know the type, loud as a motorbike, but wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. The only thing that's gonna happen is I'ma get the clapping and he and his boys gonna be yapping to the captain. And there I go trapped in a Kit Kat again. Back through the system with the rip rap again. Beans on the floor, scratching again. Paparazzi's with their cameras, snapping them. DA try to give a nigga shaft again. Half a meal for bail, cause I'm African. All because the fool was harassing them. Trying to play the boy like he's saccharin. But ain't none sweet, but I hold my gun. I got 99 pounds, the bitch ain't one. Hit me. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is here. Yeah. It's common sense with DJ Premier. We gon' help y'all see clear. It's real hip hop music from the soul, y'all. Yeah, second. Uh, yeah. The perseverance of a rebel, I drop heavy in levels, it's unseen to heard. A king with words, can't knock the hustle, but I've seen street dreams deferred. Dark spots in my mind where the scene occurred. Some say I'm too deep, I'm in too deep to sleep. Through 
me. Behind me, well, forever speak Greek. Brothers with handshakes on ghetto landscapes. Where a man is determined by how much a man makes. Pop cone yaks and spit old raps with young cats with cigarettes in the air. Nickerish stay a fair under the fubu is a guru. That's untapped. Wanna be in the rap race, but ain't ran one lap. Ran so far from the streets that you can't come back. You tripping with nowhere to unpack. Forgot that. It's Two-inch glass from A-Rabs, I order fives. Inspiration when I write, I see my daughter's eyes. I'm the truth. Cross the table from corporate lies. I'm more the lies by the realness I bring to it. If revolution had a movie, I'd be theme music. My music can even fight, fuck the dream to it. My life is one big crime, I tried to scheme through it. Through my shell, never knew what the divine to bring through it. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want millions. More than money saved, I want to save children. Dealing with alcoholism and Afrocentricity. A complex man drawn off of simple. Reality is risking me. This industry will make you lose intensity. The common sense in me remembers the basement. I'm Morpheus in this hip hop matrix exposing face shit. And you know, it's you know. This rap real, it's all fit. And you know, it's you know. This rap for the black people. Some days I take the L to jail with the real world. Got on an 87 side by this little girl. She recited raps. I forgot where they was from in them. She was saying how she make brothers come. I start thinking how many souls hip hop has affected. How many dead folks this art resurrected. How many nations this culture connected. Who am I to judge one's perspective? Though some of that shit y'all pop to it. I ain't relating. If I don't like it, I don't like it. That don't mean that I'm hating. I just want to innovate and stimulate minds. Travel the world and penetrate. Trade the times, escape through rhythms in search of peace and wisdom. Rise and smoke signals, letting the streets know I'm with them. But now I appreciate this moment in time. Ball players and actors be knowing my rhymes. It's like, it's rap, it's real, something fit. I played that whole song just for this part. portray women in a better life. You know how, you know, most rappers is talking all this other stuff, making women look bad, you know. I was raised by my mother, you know, I got a daughter, so it's like, it's, but excuse me, it's just, Bitch, then I tell you to get out there. I don't give a fuck if the police out there. I don't give a fuck if it's snowing. I want you out there home. This is a business. You ain't gone too far to see that game. You know what I'm talking about? Put your ass on those streets. Get on, dog. Get my paper. Sorry about that, sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hip Hop Zone Radio, this is your man, Bless the Party Sparker. What's good? It's your boy, Jay the Pro. What's good? You know what it is, man. No Man Monday. Real quick, I got to give a big birthday shout out to Nika, Tanika, and 
Blake McLennan. Big shout out, big birthday shout out to them. Love y'all. You know, big supporters. Of shout the out show. to my sister Mika Mealy. She just had a birthday today. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Okay, enough love, enough love. You know what I'm saying? And it was funny. We just played that track. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I, I played that part because you know so many people fall fall victim to the game. You know what I'm saying? So many women fall victim to the game. Like, oh, he talk a good game. They don't want the real thing, though. You know what I'm saying? I, that was that was just a different thing. You know what I'm saying? But we were gonna come back and speak about the laws. We we're gonna tell them the laws. You know, make make Cookie familiar with the laws of No Man Mondays. This is No Man Mondays, the national organization of men against Amazonian masterhood. We are leading the fight against the estrogen enhanced. And, uh, you know, saying, I say no, ma'am. Uh, making it safe for men again. You know what I'm saying? I say no, ma'am. That's right. That's right. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, Jada Pro. Number one, you know, let's go. We heard about this Me Too. We've been hearing about Me Too all over. Me Too. Me too. But what about me? What about me? What, what about, about me? how I feel? You know, where's my food? Make my plate. How was you know my man? day? I don't give a fuck about you got a headache. I need pussy right now. <laughs> what about me? I'm paying the bills. I'm paying the rent. What about me? Oh, shit. Cookie froze on that one. She froze on the first law. <laughs> are you in traffic cookie did your screen freeze are you going through a dead zone what's going on cookie i think cookie froze cookie no, froze i think she up did hit a dead time. zone she did hit a dead zone she did hit a dead zone <laughs> yeah she hit a dead zone <laughs> there you go look look oh she came back and she on mute hold up you gotta come on she told she came back talking <laughs> <laughs> Up my phone because my phone was dying. Love that. She it looked it. like it looked like you were stuck. It looked like you were stuck. <laughs> what we said. <laughs> no, I'm trying to plug up my phone. It was dying. Okay, so what was the first one? I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. The first one was y'all got me too. The me too movement was big, right? Uh -huh. What about me? Okay, well, I think that um, y'all should e y'all should equally it should be equal because you know a lot of women be on some bullshit too. So um, I think it should be equal. I'm pretty equal on that. Um, it, uh, if men were are approached in a way that they don't want to be approached, I think it should be addressed uh, just like women. See, the thing is, everybody know how men want to be approached. <laughs> men know, women know. <laughs> but, but see, you know, the difference is, um, as a woman, you get someone almost every day that approaches you. Uh -huh. I, I mean, if you're a decent looking woman, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, uh, you know, so you get a, you get somebody to say something to you almost every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, but men, y'all don't y'all don't get that. I mean, y'all don't get women like saying something to you every day, like, "Oh, I see your bulge," or uh, you know, "You got a nice butt," or you know, y'all don't y'all don't get that every day from somebody. I think we do. Oh no no no. If you married, <laughs> and shout out my wife. My wife is actually on here right now. If you if you married, if you married, yo, every woman in the world wants to fuck you. Exactly. Let me hit on you because um, they're programmed to get something and, and and not be attached to it. Oh. Who's that? You see what I'm saying? It's a, yeah. You gotta understand when you're born, you're born into nothing. You're not born into the Bible. You're not born into anything. You're born into the universe. Okay. So you're taught certain things and you're lied to and you have a, con you're confused most of your life till you get old enough to realize that you've been lied to. There you you go. know what I'm saying? Ooh. One of the biggest lies is Santa Claus and
and that Easter bunny that lay eggs. I ain't never seen an Easter bunny. Easter bunny that lay eggs. <laughs> Explain that shit to me. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you lied to you about the Bible. White people wrote the Bible. So I got some questions because it say, thou shalt not kill, but they the killing these people on the earth. So I got some questions. You know what hmm. I'm saying? So a lot of it has to do with misinformation and being programmed to do certain things. You know what? That's a great point on the serious side. On the no ma'am side, you kind of slid, you kind, you kind of slid, slid some of the blame away. So I, I, I let that go though. I let that go. That's the first law, yo, Jay. <laughs> no, my first, my the first thing I said was I think it should be equal. Eh, eh. <laughs> yeah. We'll come back to that one. Okay, we'll come back. y'all start the movement then and see how far it go. <laughs> what was that? I said, well, y'all start the movement and see how far it go. <laughs> oh, move the movement. Move in movement. <laughs> no doubt. Jay, what's the next law? Number two. You're killing us. It's not my fault. It's, it's not our fault. fault. Never. Denial. denial. Complete denial. Oh. Complete, Complete denial. denial. If you did it, if you did it and you said it, you meant to. <laughs> you, she just flipped it again. you see how she just flipped it again? See how she did it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not my fault because there's been too no, many. But it's still not our fault. That part goes with say it with your chest. That's right. Okay, there you go. Well, I if I it. said it, I meant it, but it's not it my might fault. Not be your fault if she PMSing. But for the most part, it's your fault. No, it ain't. <laughs> and that's Hold when on, no man wants to the rule. Before the rule, she was on our side. I know. <laughs> okay, look, look. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, can I give an example? Can I give an example? Yes, ma'am. Okay, my son called me. I told you he married, he just been married a year. And just by the tone of his voice, I said, What'd you do to your wife? Mm -hmm. as soon as he, he called and he said we got into an argument and I said an argument over what and then he said well she said when she graduated college um, she wanted and, and she have a baby she want to stay home for a year and, um, and, and, and not work and then he said she said she want to get a house and she said she want to do this when she graduated college and this that and another and I told my son so I said basically uh, you got in an argument over a bunch of what ifs. Mm. And he got that quiet. Fall. I said, she, she talking about stuff that's going to happen in the future. So I taught you better. So to keep the argument down and not have to prove that you can win an argument, you should have said, okay, baby, um, whatever decision we make, we're going to make the best decision for both of us. I said, that would have killed the argument and probably got your dick up. But you want to argue with her uh, and, and be all uh, argue with her to prove that you can win an argument. I don't. I don't get it. Over some what ifs. She talking about some stuff that might happen three years from now. Three years from now, all of us might die from the cold dope, the, the Delta variant. We don't fucking know. The Delta variant. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, don't be trying to hit me. Yeah. Hey, and this is crazy shit because you 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 flipping all of our laws on us, and I can't even be mad because like honestly. That's a good ass point. And she driving through Cali traffic while driving. I'm not in Cali. Oh, oh you are not? What you got? What you got? GPS on me or something? <laughs> hey, hey, we got all that. <laughs> if your shit is not operating properly, <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's your phone's fault. Upgrade. <laughs> Hey, next law, my favorite law. Defer, defer, defer. Oh, that ain't it. I'm sorry. That ain't my favorite. But yeah, I didn't think so. Defer, <laughs> defer, defer. What you mean? Just by like defer? you said, it, it 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 it's dope that you just said about the last one. You know what I'm saying? You was talking about trying to win an argument versus just ending it, especially exactly. up some what ifs. But uh, uh, defer, defer, answer. defer is something like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That kind of led into that because if somebody start an argument with you, you just defer. Okay, so you? look, I'm going to say this to the fellas, and I know sometimes, you know, 
not y'all in specifically, but you get in an argument, okay? And I tell my son this all the time. I say, go outside and argue with a tree and see what it say back to you. Oh. Mm. Well, see, all you have to do is learn how to be quiet if it's uh, if it's something that's so minute it ain't worth arguing about. Even if it is worth arguing about. Right, still, exactly. Still exactly, still exactly, 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 because what you want, you want the peace in your house or you want um, to win an argument? Which one you want? And they yeah. put it on us. You see this, Jay? Jay I the see bro, it. You see this I shit? See it. See this I shit see it. it's, it's women on here, too. It's women on here, too. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I got a question. I want to go back to the argument. But my question is this real quick. But there quick. is a trap. But there my is bad. a hold trap. Right. Bro, Pete, bro, Pete, hold on, hold on. My, my, my thing is this. I, I, yeah, we get in, we fall into the trap of trying to win the argument. But where does the onus fall on the person that's trying to start the argument? There you go. For no motherfucking that, reason. That that's the trap. Her the phone went dead again. Nancy froze it, it, again. You can phone 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 get in the argument. If you get in the argument, you wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you don't get in the argument, you wrong. You're not listening to me. Why are you not listening to me? I'm tired of this shit. You better listen to what. So I mean, it, it's 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 a double edged sword. I got a good point about that argument in specific. Go ahead. They're, they're talking about their future. Men are supposed to be commit. We're supposed to be committing, right? Right. If we commit, we talk about our future. Exactly. Now, if we can't talk about our future and come, you know, if you're going to say that you, you want all this and you're not going to work, that's a big thing to talk about. For real, well, that's about our future him being a man and a committed man. Because if it's a man who don't give a fuck, he's like, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, but she works. She has a uh, she has a master's degree also. And she's a social worker. So that's she was she saying... Now, she but he, that's not what she was saying she wanted to do. She wanted she's to not talk, work. She's talking about the future. She's talking about start not working. She yeah, may be working now, but she was talking about sweetie, the future. Are they in Sweden where her job is going to pay her for 12 months? Uh, I, I don't know. But I know um, she could get that, uh, that extra no, that money. that don't have to be argued about. That has to be discussed. Oh, that, that $1,600 for the unemployment? Yeah, she can use that for uh, uh, Similac. <laughs> Got a breastfeed. Hell yeah. Shit. Yeah. And that's you what I'm saying. Have breast, that was they better a... have breast milk ice cubes in the freezer. That was a good point. That don't need to be argued about. That need to be discussed. Yeah, you know I mean, exactly. And you need to be able to discuss certain shit without it turning. Because into at the argument. end of the day, you're two grown people, so you should be able to sit down and talk about it without it being an argument in there. And if you it becomes an argument, and if it becomes an argument, shut the fuck up and shut the fuck and bring up. it back down to a conversation. Basically, is what I'm saying. And it's not our fault. My bad. Um, no, it's never your fault. Thank you. Hey, I just said number four. Y'all didn't even that was that was number four. No, I heard you, Jay. That's my favorite one. And take the day. Oh, I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> See, that's the other that that's the female's twist of the law. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> shut shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Take the day. Yo. Take that, take that, oh, take that's that. The, that's the next law. Shut the fuck up and take the dick. <laughs> it ain't take <laughs> yeah. the dick. But yeah, that's gonna be it. We're gonna add it. We're gonna add that's that. That's it little, from now on. That's a little right. amendment we added to the law. A it was yeah. shut the fuck up yeah. and shut the fuck up. But shut the fuck up and take the dicks just, just works better. Look, I think I think I think it's a lot of men with some insecurities that would want to hear some type of noise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> no, we like, really don't care. Like, hey, did you ain't moaning? You ain't hey, doing nothing. <laughs> hey, that go back. That go back to what I said about doing stand up. If they quiet, you ain't doing stand up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And if they quiet, you ain't standing up in the pussy good. <laughs> Oh, oh. Shit. Y'all done got uh, put it down uh, I love it. I love it. Yo. All right. So shut the fuck up and shut the fuck up. What was the next one? Oh, my bad. Be shut happy you up. know me, bitch. Be happy you know me, bitch. That is my favorite one. Oh. Okay. Be okay. happy you know me, bitch. Okay. Because now let me let me let's go into it. You know what I'm saying? Break it down, brother. Break it down. A lot of women be taking brothers for granted. You know what I'm saying? You got a relationship with a dude. You know what I mean? He may not be paying the entire rent. He may be paying half the rent. He may be, you know what I'm saying, doing this. He may be doing that. But he's bringing something to the table. You know what I mean? And that gets taken for granted after a while. You feel me? Right. So whatever it is, I'm not saying what anybody's doing. But if you're doing something... You know what I'm saying? It's something that you're not going to get when you alone. So, my thing is, be happy you know me, bitch. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. If um you feel that way about you, then um <laughs> I think that it's relevant. Okay? Because um you should feel that way about you. Um I could say that too. When I meet anybody um, I'm a famous comedian. Be happy you fucking know me. There you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Say it, bitch. Hey. <laughs> bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, though. I'm happy. I mean, I mean see, the thing is, like I said, back, I, I have to go back to what I say, programming. If you decided to be with someone, you knew what they had to bring to the table when you started messing with them. Right. Um, if, if you was hoping for more, you, you probably should have had a conversation about it. Um, maybe you should have signed a contract. I don't know. Say, look, after six months, if you can't do this, uh, I'm going to move on. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe we need to put each other in contracts. You Let, see me ask you. Let me ask you. So what do you think the biggest downfall is when people meet as far as getting into relationships? They lie. Exactly. Big, a big Damn. piece took it right out. A broad piece took it right out of my mouth. You took it right out of my mouth. We know they a piece lie. ain't. They lying about how much they make on their job. They lying about everything. Then you get over their house, find out they got pee on front of the toilet. And all the people they ate this week. I was about to ask, are you talking about males or females? Either oh. one. Men lie too. No, they do not lie. The biggest no, lie, men, the biggest no, lie, man, uh, the biggest lie, lie man right could tell me, <laughs> uh, the biggest lie man could tell me is that he's single. Tell me you putting your dick somewhere, because if you're single, I want to know what's wrong with you. Because I seen a fucking <laughs> nigga had a bitch follow him all day, and this nigga ain't got a car, he ain't got a car, he ain't got a job, he ain't got nothing. He got bitch follow him all day. So what's wrong with you that you're not putting your dick somewhere? <laughs> so uh, you can tell me that you, you seeing somebody, you banging somebody, you smashing somebody. Tell me the truth. For you to tell me you single, my next question is, what's wrong with your, your wiener? Is it too small? Is it go, <laughs> do it go to the left too much? Uh, uh, what's the problem? Uh, uh, you got insecurities about your feet? Uh, what's the problem? <laughs> what if there ain't no problem? Uh, what if it ain't no problem? Nah, if he ain't got no hoes, there's a problem. Right? Damn, there's a problem see? if he ain't getting no pussy. Huh? <laughs> there's a problem if he's not getting pussy. It's true. Well, I have to agree with that. Because you a man. It's true. And you a man and you like, have I'm unmotivated. I'm unmotivated else. thinking about so another really thing not getting pussy. Right. As a woman, I really don't expect <laughs> you to tell me you're not seeing nobody. I really don't expect that. Be honest and say, hey, I'm seeing somebody and I'm banging her, but I like but you. You know what? But that scenario that you're know. talking about where like, oh, there's a dude and all kinds of females are following her. That's not true. That dude we always say is eating pussy. That's what we say. He eat pussy. And that's why all them females be chasing him like that. Okay. You went, you went left. <laughs> that's, that's real. I'm taking it in. <laughs> that's real. Are you? 
is one of y'all is one of y'all rules not eat pussy? I'm sorry, I'm confused. Hey. Hey, you, you, you can't eat everybody's pussy. Uh no, you wouldn't uh -huh. want to tear back your pussy. No, that wouldn't work for you. <laughs> Kangaroo, nothing like yeah. that. You wouldn't want that. But a but, human but you know what? So, a human is all right. My man, my man from Jamaica, he said he don't eat pussy though. Well, I don't know if it's a thing from Jamaica, but it is. It is. Most Jamaicans are insulted when you ask them to uh, eat your pussy. Right. So, Licky I mean, pussy. what what do I know? No, I don't okay. know. Like, yo, again, again, know. again, this went left, but <laughs> I'm just saying that, that, that was a cool time, and, and I understand. <laughs> I'm just listening, my man. I'm listening. All right, nothing now, here, what's, nothing what's here is really... Room? She's she's doing all the work for us. I'm not against anything she's saying. She should be a recruiter for us. She should come on every because she got females calling in and agreeing with shit. Now I'm with you and hey, Ty, all that. You know, I wanted to tell you something, Ty. I wanted to tell you something. When Talk my son, when my son's father came back into his life, my son didn't want to deal with him, and I just hmm. told you I never talked bad about him and everything. But I convinced my son to to accept his father into his life. Okay, don't do that. Because everybody yeah. can forgive. I don't, you know, I don't know how I feel about all that situation. Like, I think every situation is is a, a, different. a, a different situation. Yeah, because some of these niggas ain't nothing, and some of these females ain't shit either. Exactly, you know? there you go. There so, you go. Ty, 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 you made, you made the no man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ty, 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 and hold on, 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 let me stop you. Talk you made the cardinal sin on No Man Monday. <laughs> Not our fault. Don't ever, 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 ever talk about dudes ain't shit either. Nah, it ain't our fault. I said that? You yeah. just said that. We're going we gonna to delete that Where's part. the stenographer? We're edit that out. Where's, our, that? where's our pocket stenographer? <laughs> gonna, I don't even. I didn't even realize I said that. We gonna edit okay, that but, shit out. But, but, no, but, but you know, Ty, you know what I did. You know what? So, Ty, so is, hold up. Is a, we have to claim a, all of us. On Ty, Monday. Ty, this is yeah. Because yeah. yeah. a sorry nigga was made by a sorry woman. God damn it. That's right. See, that's the whole thing. Hold See, up. What sorry, women I'm say it all the time. Women say wow. it all the time. You made me crazy. Women say it all the time. You made me crazy. I ain't make you crazy. Nah, this is crazy, mom, but they daddy made though, you see? crazy. Your mama made you crazy. I ain't make you yeah, crazy. Yeah, I just. But see, that's a that's <laughs> a cop out. Making. That's a cop out. Okay, and an excuse. Ain't nobody. Can't nobody make you crazy. You either crazy or you ain't. Them bitches crazy, crazy from the beginning. They cra they crazy. My baby mom crazy. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, are you with her? <laughs> No, no man. I'm I'm gonna give me and some advice no right here. I'm gonna give <laughs> no y'all some advice. I'm gonna give y'all some advice. If you got a woman that take you to court about the children, Terrible. okay, don't go in there and, and get mad because you know you're telling the truth. Because soon as you get mad and go, Your honor, she wrong now. He, she goes, see, I told you he'd be tripping, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, I, but when I we go to court, them. we lost anyways because the, the judge is a no, female no, I and the females be fucking get us. His daughter. I helped my homeboy get his daughter. I say, you need to go in there in a nice suit and quit going in there in, in your true religions and your, and, your, and your boots. Go in there in a suit and say, your honor, I have one thing to say. I want my children in my life and shut your mouth. And let her do all the talking because we lost. As soon as the female hear, call the police or go to the go to the they're court, they're going to hear lost. all that. Eventually, they're going to hear her say all the stupid stuff that you know that she's saying. But y'all try to argue yeah. and prove your point in a courtroom, you lose it. Uh huh. And that's yeah. the thing right there. I got. Yeah. I believe me. I got a lot of male friends. I give them advice all the time about certain things. I, and, and and for the most part, I really don't know what I'm going to say. What I say come from the universe. I don't know what I'm going to say. I didn't know what I was going to say when I got on here with y'all that I can't remember none of this shit I said. <laughs> 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 but at the end of the day, like I told you, we are human. We have to protect each other. And, hmm. and, and, and more so, us Black people, we need to learn how to quit being mad at each other for no reason and start embracing each other and doing things out of the goodness of your heart and not to get something back. 
There you go. And that's what No Man Monday is all about. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? We talk a lot of shit and we let y'all know. But like I said, you know what I'm saying? It sounds harsh, but this is how niggas talk. You know what I'm saying? Why shit got to be so serious? You know what I'm saying? Why shit got to be so serious? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I mean? So real quick, I know we got a couple more laws, Jay. Huh? I mean, I'm trying to roll a blunt, man. Damn. Oh, my bad. So, man, you know, what, what is the law? Pass that. <laughs> Bro, P, we've been going over laws for the last 30 minutes. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> See? Well, y'all got a few more minutes because I do a show on live every night on my Instagram at 9 p.m. Oh, I do we got to promote that. Uh, uh, my Instagram is Cookie Hall. I do my live every night at 9 p.m. I don't have no subject like them. I ain't got no subject. I get on there, smoke weed, make fish sticks, play with my dog, watch the basketball game, uh, watch Tyler Perry's The Oval. Uh, I do, I just do whatever I'm doing. I might go to Walmart. Whatever I'm doing, that's what she said. I might go to Walmart. Right. And then I have my special guests on there. I've had Coco Brown. I've had. Uh, Coco Brown from 911 and from Tyler Perry movies and Spanky Hayes from Wildin' Out and you, you, I've had a lot of people on there on my show. Um, I got a lot of friends in this business, so yeah, it's kind of cool. Yo, real quick, Cookie, I wanted to ask you about that because, like you said, you know, what I'm saying you deal with a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying in the industry, and you know, I want to know what that, you know, what that means, like as far as you know, dealing with, you know, you have tight-knit friendships, you see per- certain people that work together, you know, how is it as far as black people trying to make a major move, especially in that industry, Hollywood, entertainment, you know, comedy, because, you know, you, you see certain comics make it big, and then a lot of other comics that are floating. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? What what would you say about all of that? Well, uh, I would say um, Hollywood picks their people. They, pick yeah, they, the people that they want to go through, and they and they help hold back people that they don't want to go through. But the biggest part about it is to have someone else hold you back that you thought was had your best interests. Okay, mm-hmm. and that's the biggest part is you know that part okay so um when you got someone um telling people no for you that you don't know that's telling people no for you and you know that's the biggest thing i've heard comedians tell like the manager of a comedy club they was like i was thinking about bringing this particular person and then i've heard a comedian go nah don't bring them they might not sell no tickets they might not sell no tickets what does it have to do with you well it has nothing to do with you (laughs) You see what I'm saying? Why would you mm-hmm. even say that? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Just if somebody was to say, "Hey, I'm thinking about bringing, you know, um, uh, Bro Pete to the club," I'm gonna say, "I think you should do it because I know Bro Pete gonna get a payday." You see what I'm saying? Then right. you got the clicks. Then you got the clicks. Then you got the guys that scared you might again. The 48 laws of power don't outshine the master. You got people that think you are outshine them. And I got a lot of people know I outshine them, so they don't mess with me. You would never see me on a Mike Epps tour. I love Mike Epps. We good friends, but you have never seen me on a Mike Epps tour, okay? You see what I'm saying? Because he never going to put me on a tour. If I was on a Mike Epps tour, it would have to be Live Nation or somebody like that like that, that would put me on that specific type of tour. You see what I'm okay. saying? Cat Williams <laughs> broke the barrier. Cat Williams broke the barrier when he put up um, the females on his tour, the first tour, the uh, Pimp, uh, Pimp Chronicles, and then the second tour I was on was the Pimp and Pimpin' tour with me and Leslie Jones. The first tour was uh, no. Lunell and uh, Melanie Camacho. But um, Cat was smart about it because Cat wanted people in front of him funny, so when he come out, he ain't got to work hard. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You just going to sit down and watch him because we done made you laugh so hard that you're going to sit down and watch him. You see what I'm saying? So he had a strategy behind what he was doing and giving women an opportunity. A lot of them ain't going to give women an opportunity. That's why you see comedy shows, you'll see five dudes and one woman. 
And, and if you say, why did they, they be like, well, we got one, just put one. We only want one. It's rare that you see comedy shows with five women and one dude. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then the women in comedy don't get along because uh, of their insecurities. See, and that's a big thing right there, because I was going to ask you, you know, because it's like, I really think if, if there was some sort of uh, unification, you know, especially in, in that area, as far well, as Hollywood you know, between comics, you know, you know, he was talking about, um, I remember, I remember seeing um, the Black Bat supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? And it, it was like, you got Eddie Murphy, Robert Townsend, Keenan Ivory Wayans, all these cats, you know, coming together and doing something big where you got cats right now that are dwarfing everything that they did. You know well, what I'm saying? As far as one thing I got to give it to y'all men, when it come to making money, men will set aside the bullshit. Okay. Y'all will set aside the bullshit and get the money. You know, I don't yeah, know if you true. three or four niggas on here even like each other, but y'all doing this podcast so that y'all can have something great. In the I can't future. stand that Jewish nigga. I can't yeah. stand that nigga. But, and, and, but and, and, and like you say, like we started the topic with women, it's like, it's you too, bitch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's you too. Which was what we started with. You exactly. Know, in, in a comedy game, you got the, a lot of women, they, um, they, you know, they take each other jokes, repeat them, steal them, however they want category they want to put them in. Um, uh, a lot of them talk about um, being a bitter bitch that can't find nobody because you a bitter bitch. Bitch, change your personality. You might, you might find somebody. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's just, you know, it's just a different thing. And they, and they put us against each other because they only put one on the show. So if, if, if you the one female that, that 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 Charlie Murphy got out with him. You trying to protect that? You don't want no other female to come in and go out with Charlie Murphy when you got that bag. So it's uh, kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing that goes on in the hip hop business. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. When it comes to female rappers, right? They feel like gotta they gotta fight yourself, for it. Yeah. You gotta ask yourself why is Ice Cube filthy rich and maybe uh, Yo Yo ain't. Mm. Why is Snoop Dogg filthy rich, but maybe Lady of Rage ain't? And these are women that were out on tour with them. I'm not speaking on nothing that I don't know. You see what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not saying they not getting their money. Don't get me wrong. They get their money, but it's a different level that they're on because of, uh, it's a level that they own because, the, like I said, me and y'all set aside bullshit and get money together. You see what I'm saying? You see a song, it'd be Future, Jay, Nas, Tevin Campbell. They be with <laughs> Michael Jackson. They put Tupac Hologram in there, and they'll put on the show. She said Tupac Hologram. <laughs> oh, right, Hologram. Right, we're going to incorporate this motherfucker somehow. And somehow. That's one thing about y'all. Y'all money. I ain't going to never lie about the way I feel. Y'all mm -hmm. men to set aside some shit and get some money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. Uh, Sister Cookie, my, my question is, do you think that if men would, because I, I, I feel the same way in a basic relationship, do you think that if men would step back and appreciate the woman's presence, that that would change? Well, because they've been programmed not to, okay? But every man loves his mother. If you loved every woman like you love your mother, life would be so much easier for the Black woman. Shout out to Sunshine. Can I, I say this? Can question. I say this? I'm going to say she's this. She's just like my mother, and she is my wife. So, yes. I'm going to say this. I, mean, I would shit. agree. I would agree, right? <laughs> but this is the problem. I was, in the, I was in the grocery store the other day. Brother came up to me, older cat, came up to me and said, you know what, man? A nice looking young lady walked by us. And he said, you know what, man? All I said to her, he had a you know Caribbean accent. All I said to her was, hello, how you doing? And she couldn't even turn around. You know what I'm saying? And, and and it's that mentality where this guy is just being polite and speaking to you. He's not yeah, asking for not your number. It's not an obligation, though. It's not an obligation. You taught not to speak to strangers. Hold on, but 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 then you say there's no nice men, though. No. <laughs> you can't you can't have it both ways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> understand, understand, we it's people, we are people. Everybody, if everybody was the same, you see what I'm saying? 
you wouldn't be able to get your McDonald French fries because it wouldn't be somebody motivated to be on McDonald French fries. You see what I'm saying? Everybody not the same, but you want people, I mean, you want people to react because you said something. So he feel like he should have gotten some type of acknowledgement. But as a grown woman, she really didn't have to acknowledge him. She didn't, she but then, but him. then don't they turn around. Hold on, but then when you put that out in the universe, when you put that, that, uh, uh, it, that what, ignoring, or uh, I'm just gonna play like I didn't hear him, you know what I mean? You could acknowledge him and say how you doing and keep it moving. Yeah, it, most, it doesn't most take much to say. People will. But let me tell you something. I speak to brothers all the time that don't won't speak back. What's well, something wrong with them too? Do you see what that's what I'm trying to tell you? We can't control it. Shit. I, but, it happened, it but it happened more it, it happened more often the other way around though. Don't go there with this. Well, yeah, talk about yeah, that. But that's what I said. That's why I said because men speak to women more often because they are attracted to hey, what they're if you, looking at. What they're if you go cookie now, if you go up to a man and say, How you doing? He's gonna say, Hey, how you doing? I didn't say go up to. He didn't say go up to. He said he spoke to her as she walked by. I'm right. listening to your yeah, same, same thing. Same thing. If you're you walking by saying? and you like say, how you doing said. to a man? He going to say, how you doing back? I swear to God, I said it to a brother today as he opened the door for me in the gas station today. I said, how you doing, brother? And he didn't say nothing. He just held the door. I walked in and he walked in. You see what I'm saying? I didn't hold it against him. You see what I'm saying? He held the door for me. That's cool. I ain't have to touch it. Nigga, it's COVID out there. Fine with me. <laughs> Delta variant. <laughs> Delta He's variant. That's a bad example, Delta too, because like, hey. I've had a, a and Jamaican and guy. Right. When I'm on stage, the last thing I say when I get off stage is try being nice all day. Hmm. There you go. How try about that, nice women? Day. Estrogen Everybody. enhanced. Everybody, everybody. No, 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 no. This ain't about us. This ain't about us. Here you go, man. Here you go. Hey, hey. No, because he's right. hands. Y'all gotta understand. Y'all gotta understand. We've always we've been it's been ingrained in hey. a good man and a good man to treat a woman not to not treat even, a woman. Not even a good man, not even a good man. Cookie said it best. Like, yo, we've been trying to get pussy since we was 12 years old. So you got to say hi. You trying to say hi? You trying nah, to Nah, it's nah, it's, 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 some, it's some niggas out there that don't have to say hi. Yeah. Nah, don't have to be nice. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's true. But yeah, so, I'm just yeah, saying for the most part. And they're out there. You know what I'm but, saying? But real quick, real quick, hey Cookie, you were you a hip hop comedian? Yes. This is a hip hop show. Yes. So that being said, I was gonna let you slide for a little bit, but until I heard your bars. I got to know top five dead or alive MCs of all time in order, please. Uh, Rakim, okay. my number one. My oh, number shit. one is Rakim. Um, my number two she is got cloud already. Trina. Uh, I was bumping oh, her yesterday. Yay. Oh, shit. Uh, I was bumping her yesterday. Uh, okay, my, she my, threw the ladies my number, in it. My number three is Remy Ma. Mm. Mm. Love it. Um, mm. now my number four is the ultimate Tupac. And um, my number five would, mm. would probably be Biggie. Okay. She'd say that. Yeah. She, she, she went hard with that. She said That's Remy Ma. Yeah, Remy Ma and Trina are cold with it. Mm -hmm. They cold with it. Hey, she's but, the first know, one. I, I like I like uh Megan the Stallion and I like uh yeah. Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj should spit some shit on you. Mm. I That's what I was going at. Go ahead, Jay. She's our first guest to have women in her in her top five. Yep. Oh, women yeah. are always in my in my everything because they make a mark just like the men do, except for we are just not getting the recognition. There you a lot go. of times Jane is dope though. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you said a lot of times what? I said a lot of times Dan is dope though. Yeah, well that's <laughs> this is your show. Pleasure, uh, pleasure you listening to your, your sister. You stay in your, your fucked up opinion. Yeah, stay in, 
pleasure hearing you. Okay, stay in your blackness. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shout out to bro P. Yo. Uh, hey, definitely. We definitely appreciate you getting on with us, Cookie. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, you got anything coming up that we that we should know about real quick? Uh no. Nah, oh yeah, I do. Um, I got a tour I'm putting together. Um, it's called Behind the Lashes. It's an all-female comedy tour from the millennial to the OG, uh, starting with Shawnee D out of Detroit, um, myself, Coco Brown, um, Kim Whitley, Miss Laura from the Queens of Comedy at Marshall Warfield. Um, we kick off our shit in uh, uh, October 15th to 16th and 17th at the uh, newly opened J spot. You know, J reopened the spot. Um, and, okay. uh, we're bringing that, we're bringing that show there. And it's basically going to be, um, us talking about our journey as female comics in this, um, industry and also look forward to my book coming out and that's going to be something. Oh. Real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I gotta say this. You know what I'm saying? You just said Marshall Warfield. A lot of motherfuckers don't know. That's night court, son. I'm saying <laughs> like, yo. She is right. the oldest living black female comedian we have right now. Wow. Mm. I didn't even know that. I just know, you know, I know her work, but I didn't know that fact. Yeah, she used to be Richard Pryor's girlfriend. She was on the Richard Pryor show yep. before she was on Night Court. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's big right there. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 yo, it, it, it's amazing that you're doing so much and everything that you're doing. You know what I mean? Big shout out to you. And Thank you. I, I, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes, we do. Down with us. Thank you, y'all. You know I had fun. I had fun. I really appreciate you, gentlemen, for being gentlemen. And um, um, anything I said, if I offended anyone, I really Fuck meant em. to. Fuck them. So, um, <laughs> yeah, just swallow uh, <laughs> it. And, um, just just swallow it and um, get over it. Basically. Could you name the tour again, Miss Cookie? Yes. Behind the Lashes. What'd she say? It's called Behind the Lashes. Behind the Lashes. Make sure you check that out. And real quick, give them your um, give them your handles, your Instagram, your Facebook, uh, you know. Everything is Cookie Hall. Everything is Cookie Hall. My Cash App is Cookie Hall. My Zell is Cookie Hall. There you go. Uh, <laughs> it's Cookie Hall. Uh, yeah. uh, my food stamp card even got Cookie Hall on it. <laughs> no doubt, yo. And, and you listen, and you missed the beginning of the show. We do not apologize for anything said on this show. Exactly. There you go. All right, I know that's right, bro. Hey. It was nice meeting everybody. I got to start my show in three minutes, y'all. So I really got to go. Thank you for having me. I hope y'all had a good time. And for the most part, I was just being funny. Hey, we love you. Appreciate yeah. you, Cookie Ho. Make Thank sure you, you go me. check out her show. Tell them the name of your show one more time. Uh, it's Cookie Ho. <laughs> On IG Live. There you go. <laughs> Hip Hop Zone right, Radio. It's your man, Bless the Party Sparker. It's your boy, Jay the Pro. Y'all know what it is, y'all. Hip Hop Zone Radio, Power357Radio.com. Moving your music around the globe. And across the fader. Y'all keep it locked, y'all. Peace.